uh, apologies for any audio clipping in the upcoming cutscene. I've always had problems with this cutscene in particular when it comes to sound. I don't know what's wrong with it. I really don't. It's time for the best level in the game! Yup! This is such a great level. Oh, it's the best. And the best part is, the first half is just so chill. Oh, I know. Oh, there's one new weapon, but I can't afford it. But yep, here's uh, Dr. Nefarious and the villain from the Full Frontal Assault game. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't know who that was. I was very confused. Yeah, so it was, I guess, like, three people have played that. <laughs> it's actually on sale at Target for 15 bucks right now. That's still too much. No, okay? I mean, like, it comes with the Vita I version, too. To oh, okay. Speaking of, I actually bought a Vita. I know we gave it shit earlier in the LP, but... When the I got a PS4, I got PS Plus, and I found one brand new for like $150, and that's a pretty good deal, so I snapped it up. And I'm actually enjoying it, it's pretty fun. It's a good system. I'm just gonna wait for the Slim to come out. Anyway, this level's super chill. Like, the entire first half, there's almost no enemies, or like, obstacles in general. You just walk around with this dude, and he tells you cool stuff. It's neat. Yeah, as a result, most of this video is going to be considered cutscenes, so um, there, those of you who are watching the cut version probably won't hear us a lot. Mm. It's not exactly un unfortunate for them. Oh, well, I mean, yeah. Anyway, that's the Vortex Grenade. I showed it off a little bit last video, but uh, you throw it and it sucks enemies in. It's pretty great. They're in orbit now. Yeah. Or not. Nor th now they're just dead. It takes a really long time to level up, and you get it really late in the game, and, uh, yeah. It really comes in handy in, like, challenge mode more often than not. Anyway, there are lots of nice little touches all Look, over pig. this. Pig! Dinosaur! I forget what the hell that's from. Uh, I think that... Jackalope! Those, jackalope! I think those are for from All for One, I think? No, the pig and All for One like it's a boar. Uh, and that's a penguin. That one's from Tools of Destruction. Hmm. Oh, I've... This is the best room, by the way. It is. Everybody <laughs> loves the museum! To the old pirate code. <laughs> yeah, this is the only time you'll see Captain Slag in this game. Is he still just a head, or did he get his body back? Uh, I think he... In, in Quest for Booty... No, no, he loses the body in Quest for Booty. Never mind, I think he's still just ahead. Aw, that's good. These guys are also have not been seen since All for One. Not All for One, um, Tools of Destruction. Hmm. Nearly every being in the universe is allergic to them. This, along with their temperament, makes petting one a highly risky proposition. <laughs> yeah. Love the description. This, this room is just basically oh, comedy. Oh, yep. sad. Yup. I don't know why, but I always refer to them as Zephyr and Kronk. Mm. It's reverse out. It's like the one thing I reverse alphabetize. No, they don't. Oh, actually, they bring that up. Historical discrepancy detected. Oh. Now I'm sad again. Yeah. Oh dear. My mistake. They are dead. Well, this is You have no idea. Yeah. Ah, uh, no sympathy. the Battle of Gimlet Valley exhibit. It was here. Yeah, we, you guys remember this, right? Yeah, we did that. Yeah. This is actually from a video we actually did recently. Yeah. And by recently, I mean like within the last year. Maybe. Was I, it really within the last year? I, it might have been a year and a half. I don't know. I don't fucking remember. And these things. These things. These were like uh, the most the annoying, annoying thing. bastards. Yeah. I hated these things. Granted, if you're good at the game, they don't really ever get in the way, but seriously, jeez. 
Robots who eat gelatinium whenever. This is this whole museum was at, by the way is actually a really clever way to extend the game out, just by reusing old models. Yeah, I really like it. It, it adds on sometimes to the game because you're gonna stop and look at everything. Yeah, like, and you don't have to do this. Unless you're a uh, fun-hating loser. Yeah. Like, the first time you go through this, you should look at everything, but, like, uh, this is the first time I've looked at all of this since I played for the first time. If you blew through this on your first playthrough, you're a fun-hating loser, and I don't care if you're offended. Yeah. Because you're a fun-hating loser. Pretty much. I sure took my sweet-ass time in this level my first time through. But yeah, like, this is pretty much the entire first half of the level, is just this. You just walk around and you chill out and you look at museum exhibits. And museums are cool. I love museums. And occasionally break things. Well, yeah. Museums are neat. <laughs> there is a skill point for breaking every tree in the uh, in the level. And also, uh, this is a level... Not, well, not this part of the level in particular, but... This is a planet from Tools of Destruction. Uh, I remember this only because of the trees. This was near the very end. I don't remember that thing. Where is that from? Um, that's... Uh, that's... A crack, of, a crack in time. That's the uh, big hunting planet. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, hmm. I should remember that, but I don't. Still, it's cool. Is it, is it cra oh, that's right. This bugged out. I wouldn't play the thing for the first time. Was it? Yep, Sargasso. Yeah. yeah. Oh, come on. That's ridiculous. No, no. It was It was Tools of Destruction, not A Crack in Time. Cause, uh, oh, that's why I don't remember it. Because I didn't play that. Well, that and also the LP kind of skipped over the hunting bits. I just sped them up and put them to silly music. Because it wasn't worth talking over. Anyway, there's a secret. A secret involved with this guy. If you jump on his head and you wait. But I'm not going to make you guys wait. You're welcome. Anyway. Whoa. Yep. He's kind of jerky. Come up here and it's the second to last rhino schematic. Just one more piece of the plan and you'll be the owner of a brand new Rhino 7. He's so excited when I he says know. It. God has a mean streak. I built this gun. I want you to kill everything with it. <laughs> you are my flood. <laughs> oh, we finally found Ratchet's place in the universe. He's, he's not a hero. He's just all of the apocalypse signs at once. <laughs> Thanks for the input, Jeff. <laughs> I was thinking about that today, actually. <laughs> I was just watching that video earlier today. Because I've been playing through the, um, the Uncharted uh, Vita game. Oh. And it's alright, it's just they make you do touchscreen and tilt things for way too much. Mm. You have to do, like, touchscreen swipes to beat a guy to death, and that's annoying. Anyway, uh, I'm pretty sure the reason that the budgets were cut was because of Captain Quark, so you can thank him for... Not getting to get through the uh, money wing of the museum. Hmm. I, I'm pretty sure I read that somewhere. It was all Captain Quark's fault. Oh, by the way, did you look at the vents? The pattern on the vents is neat. No, I didn't. Hmm. You are now entering our zero G Galactorium. It's not anything. It's it's just neat. Oh, okay. First place, our former president Copernicus Quark. I or is it? I don't know. I feel like that should be something that's a reference. I don't know. But yeah, this room's pretty neat because uh, you, well, if you don't get to this platform here, you will die. The Galactorium boasts an interesting. It's like a ten-foot drop. <laughs> yeah. Bio obliterator. Grab leap onto any planet to begin the experience. Uh, you want to grab leap to the planet with the cannon on it? Of course. <laughs> so. Yeah, have fun fighting the bio obliterator, a boss fight that I haven't been able to show off yet because I'm getting burned out on Ratchet and Clank games, and therefore we're not doing up your arsenal next time. Hmm. We cannot let the device. But yeah, this is a actually a pretty fun boss fight. It's just that um, 
in challenge mode, this thing has way too much health. However, you don't need the cannon to destroy it. You can hurt it with conventional weapons. Are you going to show off what happens if the cannon actually hits you? Oh, no, I've never actually done that. What happens? Uh, uh, you actually get turned into a robot. Ah! Oh. Yeah, it's cool. Bonus content! I'm totally recording that when I do the challenge mode run. Uh, I know this because I was awful at this <laughs> I got hit a couple of times. It doesn't... It's not an instant game over. Okay. It just, um... It just resets you. Hmm. But yeah, I, if I remember right, you do get roboticized. Huh. Neat. I will be sure to show that off. Yeah, they actually made a model for it. It's cool. Hmm. Oh, yeah, speaking of which, uh, wait until the next video goes live to decide this, but for again, for challenge mode, I'm going to put it up to a vote which planet you want to see. However, it's only going to be, be between this planet, um, oh, I, oh God, the next That's a thing from All for One that doesn't spawn. Yeah. <laughs> 14 legs and teeth that can crush rock. Anyway, you were saying? Oh, I gotta oh, wait till right. he's... Yeah. It took a crew of eight taxidermists to pose the fierce creature you see. <laughs> so it's either going to be between this planet, the planet you fight Nefton on, or the very first planet after the intro, because those are the only three planets to really show off uh, challenge mode in, in the good run. Just got a transmission from Quark. Is he really I don't know what that is. Nefton no, it's art. Nefton I think. Is assisting us in the reparation of the mm. Dimensionator. Anyway, if you want more proof that All for One is canon, uh, I'm stick. You can't see it, but I'm sticking my finger in my mouth and sticking out my tongue. Uh, here's here's the these guys. These guys, yeah. The freaky looking weirdos. Yeah. Anyway, yup, All for One's canon. Uh, I can't ignore it anymore. We're back to combat. Yep. Still more museum stuff to see, though. There is like this fish hook. Fish hook! And this treble hook! Hmm. And these boxes. Wait. Oh, hey, here's something I had never seen until this run. If you go into this air vent. How did you not see this before? I have never seen this before. It's Dan Johnson! Yay! Mr. Johnson once lived on a I don't know why he has his own separate room separated by a ventilation shaft. Like, what are they doing in this museum that they're making tourists go through the ventilation shaft? Well, Earth is not canon, so they can't actually have it as a part of the tour. Mmm, okay. Even though it fits perfectly into my fan fiction. <laughs> anyway, yeah, that's the thing I'd never seen before this run. How did you miss that? It's right there. I, I don't know. The hall of villainy. If you see your face here, chances are you did not listen to your mother while you were growing up. Well, some people don't have mothers. Here's our first look at uh, more than 12 polygons. Drek. Hi, Drek. We're going to see you in the movie. <gasps> oh, they confirmed... Okay, so that's just going to be the f plot of the first game. I'm, I'm pretty sure that the movie's just going to be the plot of the first game, yeah. Oh, this is the villain from Deadlock. Uh, yeah, I was about to say. Another game I didn't really play. Uh, Deadlock has a really shitty HD port, and his face gets really terrifying in it. <laughs> oh, now we have. <laughs> I'm going to ignore Nefarious for now, because Nefarious is the best. Emperor Percival Tachyon was one of the most Emperor Bighead. <laughs> in the Polaris galaxy. A might filled with content for long. Craigmite. might. Yup. I'm sad. Yeah. That's your own damn fault. I know. Hello, villain I never really never paid attention to. We made to. him touch a poopy quark. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. It's the same dude. Captain <laughs> Quark. His capture resulted in an unfortunate fall from an elevated bridge. He suffered I haven't played that, but I hope that's a plot point a in that game. <laughs> <laughs> you made me touch Poopy Quark. I hope that would be an entire, entire motivation. Oh, man. I would actually play it if it was. 
I'll be sure to tell you. Here he is, it's the best. Yes. There's a reason he has the center podium. And also the biggest statue. Because he's the best, well, yes. clearly. His current whereabouts are unknown. And he remains at the top of the galaxy's most wanted list. I'll tell you where he is. He's in my heart. Because I'm robo-gay for him. Wait, did I say that out loud? Yes, you did. Also, this is a morbid as hell room. No, but seriously, they took their corpses and they posed them. And then they make them dance. And then they make them dance. There's a skill point for doing this in a certain amount of time. I forget. I this room. I'm bad at platforming. I forget exactly how much time they give you to do this, but you have to pretty much speed run it in order to get it. Seriously, though, this is really, really morbid. <laughs> if you give, like, two seconds to think about it. And this is, unfortunately, the only time you'll ever see the Groovitron in this game. They have taken their lifeless shells, and they have animated them. It's like... Ooh, I hate those platforms. I hate those platforms. Luckily, you can skip the last one. I like the touch of uh, the little tour guide dancing. He's, he, like, twirls his fingers around. He gets jazz hands. Anyway, here's an accurate airlines. <laughs> uh, but it'd be like, um... It'd be like if we, like, killed a bunch of bears, or not even bears, like... If we found a sentient race, we murdered all of them, and then we stuffed them and put them in, like, the equivalent of a Chuck E. Cheese. That is pretty terrifying, actually. Now entering the Lombax History Week. Oh, Yeah, look. It's... There's somebody missing from here! I don't know what you're talking about. Until shame and anger got the best of those, those first three games never happened. What are you talking about? For selfish reasons. To others, he is a hero whose only crime was wanting to correct a mistake. No, but seriously, Angela is an idiot and she doesn't deserve a place here. I think that's a nod to the uh, fandom about... What's his name? Alistair, yeah. I think, like... Most of the fandom is really split between whether he's, like, an actual bad guy or he's just... Um, I, I sympathize with him. I mean, he basically, he fucked up and his entire race was doomed for it. Yeah. He had a lot of guilt on his mind. Yeah. Why is this guy here? Didn't he already have a statue? You already had a statue. Why don't you get two statues and Nefarious only gets one? Granted, Nefarious gets the biggest statue, but still. Well, no, no, Nefarious had all those banners. Oh, yeah, And okay. also the guy from... Some sort of hydraulic zip line, or... <laughs> Four continues to be the or no, This game's too yeah, serious! Alright. <laughs> not enough jokes! Quark continues to be the best. Needs more slide whistles! <laughs> there needs to be fart humor, damn it! <laughs> How'd they know we were here? Maybe they followed you, you idiot. Nah, I, I think it's just more of an unhappy coincidence. This is a really pretty room. It is. Okay, so chill time's over. Now it's serious action time. I, fr I don't remember... I don't ever come back to check, but I think that guy stays in the wall for the rest of the game. <laughs> well, considering the rest of the game is only another half hour. Well, I mean, if you, like, come back and backtrack. Oh, yeah. Just like the guy at the arena. Actually, I, you know what? I want that guy to be like the brother of the guy in the arena. <laughs> it is also now part of your fan fiction. Yes. <laughs> okay, so um, basically we have more armored Quark nethers. Statue. Cork statue. The cork statue actually has physics and can be destroyed. It's the only one in the museum that can, of course. <laughs> Also, we don't see it yet, but there's one item in this room that I would actually like to have. You mean you wouldn't want to have Quark's autobiography? Okay, two items. <laughs> uh, three. Basically, I want everything in this room, damn it. 
But look, little quark dolls. Yep, little, little quark, quark dolls. dolls. Oh, oh, there the goes statue. the statue. But yeah, um... Beautiful golden god. Oh, I forget what I was going to say now. You were too great for this world. Oh yeah, I really, really like the... The vortex grenade. It's just that you get it so late, it doesn't get a chance to really level up at all. So it's more of a challenge mode weapon than anything. Along with the uh, other weapon that I haven't been able to show off yet. But look at the little quirk doll. Look oh, at don't worry. I'll get a look at him. You pointed it out before I was going to point it out. How could I not point it out? Look at that. Yep. It's right adorable. up there. See? You got Ratchet, you got Clank, and you got Quirk. I bet he says catchphrases if you squeeze him. <laughs> I would love that. You squeeze him and he just goes, quirk Doctor. <laughs> Uh, if you're watching this Insomniac, please, I want a <laughs> quirk plushie that says catchphrases when you squeeze him. I will pay you up to $80 for one oh, of these. Oh, Jesus! I was gonna say 50 You're a big spender! Come on, it's video game stuff. Of course it's gonna be like 80 Oh, well, yeah, okay, yeah. Did you ever see the, um, the talking Cave Johnston painting? I did not. Oh yeah, so there was a there was a painting of Cave Johnson that you got one site like was sell. Oh, okay, never mind. Never mind. Next video. Nah, it's not that important. Ah, uh, whatever. Look it up yourself then. 